Hello everyone, welcome back to another video. So this is part two of the Mac Pro upgrades, and this is where the story really starts. So this is my gaming PC, and sorry about the grainy footage. That is just because it's pretty dark right now, and that won't be permanent throughout the video. But basically, this machine is my gaming computer. Like I said, it has a Radeon RX 480, currently has 8 gigs of RAM, and a 512 gig SSD, along with a one terabyte in the back, but that's not set up. So it also is, has a water-cooled A10 5800K. So <clears throat> this machine has been serving decently well, but I was looking into it and my friend Kyle of Kyle's Tech Channel linked his channel in the description. He basically told me that I could run my RX 480 in the Mac Pro natively with the new OS X drivers and everything. And that kind of gave me this thought of why not completely upgrade the Mac Pro, make it the best it can possibly be. So I'm going to be stripping out this computer. I have, I do have plans for the power supply processor and rest of it. Stay tuned for that. I have some pretty funny videos coming up with that. And yeah, so I'm going to be stripping this out. So first I'm going to take the GPU. You can see it only takes a single six pin. It's like I said, the RX 488 gigabyte. And let me grab my screwdriver. So the Mac Pro currently has a GTX 960. That video card as I drop my screwdriver, piece of my screwdriver. That computer right now. Yeah, the Mac Pro has a GTX 960 in it, and that's a decent card, but I'm going to be swapping out with this. My friend also, he gave me the 960 for free. He wants it back. So, yeah, but here's the video card. That's the RX 480 out. Reference design and everything. So the SSD, this currently has Windows on it, but I'm going to be doing, I'm going to erase it and do a fresh install on it. So SSD, that's a 512 gig Apple. SSD. And then I'm also going to take the RAM out. The Mac Pro has 16 gigs of RAM already. And so I will be upgrading it to 24 because these are each 4 gig modules. So that's the gaming computer stripped out. So I think now we will begin the upgrades. So here is the Mac Pro, of course. This is an 8 core, 3.33 gigahertz with a 512 gig SSD, a GTX 960, 16 gigs of RAM, and yeah, I listed the processor stuff in the beginning. And I just dropped my screwdriver again. So the first thing I'm gonna be upgrading is the RAM here. So let's pop out the CPU tray. That is quite warm because I was just rendering a video. You guys didn't really see what I did there. So on this side, and you're not gonna see the other side, but it's beside the point. I'm going to be putting in these RAM modules. So my system can now have 24 gigs of RAM. So yeah, that's the RAM installed. Easy enough. Now, if we pan up we will be doing the video card next. So let me get a better angle over here. Actually, more the, the correct term would be PCIe cards because I'm putting some other cards in here. So how you do it is you pull this thing out and then you take the fan, you press that button and you slide it forward in case you didn't know how to do that. And that's how you do it. And then you can just pull the card out. So this is the PNY reference 10 or 960. I don't know if I said this in the video, my friend is giving me his 1060 in about a month. So in goes the RX 480. Perfect, kind of, there we go. There is it seated all the way and I'll just pop that and then plug it in. And yeah, so that's the Radeon RX 480 in there. So next, remember back to the last video, which if you haven't seen it, you should watch it so you know what's going on here. I have 
a USB 3 card. This is the Inatech one. So, what I'm going to be doing, sorry if my head is in the frame there, I'm going to be popping that in to this slot right here. Just going to try and align that. There we go. So that is installed for the most part. Is it going to pop in? There we go. I think. Let me take a look at that. I'll move the camera over there for a sec. Yep, that's installed. So now I'm going to. Sorry about the grain. I just realized the grain is absolutely terrible right now. I'm going to pop that on like that and then screw it in a little bit. I feel. Oh. Catch, yep. And then I'm having a bit of trouble with this. There we go. So now if we just tighten those down, we have both those cards set. So the last thing for right now is the second SSD. So I'm going to put it down here and pull this drive adapter out of its packaging. And slot it in like so. And then we can just screw it in from the bottom. And that will be the second of two 512 gigabyte SSDs in this machine. So this one is going to have Windows 10 and Linux. I believe Ubuntu is what I'm going to be putting on here. And then, of course, I'm going to keep the current installation of OS 10 on the other 500 gig. Yeah. So now the last thing we have to do is, that's not going in there for some reason, give me one sec here. All right, so now the last thing we have to do is put it on the Mac Pro drive sled. So I'm going to be using this drive sled, and yes, I know it is really dirty. However, it's all I have right now, and I don't really plan on getting anything new. So I'm just going to screw that in in a cross pattern because I want to avoid any undue strain on anything because these screws are already pretty much stripped completely so yeah that is that and we pan up here and put that in like that and there we go two 512 gig ssds radeon rx 480 usb 3 card and 24 gigs of ram installed and the last thing to do as i drop the cup on the floor is Connect the displays to the proper adapters. So, let me pull them under their packaging material here. And let's take a look at this. So, this is a display port cable, and you can see that you press on that to release it, of course. And then I will just do the second one off camera. So these are the two adapters. Actually, there's more film on them. Yeah, it's going to satisfy me peel. Probably should have peeled this off after connecting them, but kind of too late for that. So if you go down here, this blue one goes to the KVM switch. And that is the secondary monitor. And you guys can't see what I'm doing. It's 
so that gets screwed on. And then this DVI is for the actual main cinema display. And then just goes like that. All right, so I will set the Mac Pro back up on its cell and we'll test it. So you can see we're back here. Everything seems to be working normally. I am running the Mac OS High Sierra beta. The processor specs are normal. Memory is normal. Startup disk and graphics are normal. But like I said, I'm running the Mac OS High Sierra beta. The reason I'm doing that is because Mac OS 10.12.5 is what I was currently running or I was running before. And then 10.12.6 is the operating system update release that officially begins support for Polaris. So I didn't have support for the RX 480 as, con as my Mac Pro is configured. So I would have to update the software, but Mac OS 10.12.6 is still in beta. And so when I tried to download it, all I got was the Mac OS High Sierra beta, which I'm fine with. I haven't encountered any bugs. Everything seems to be stable. But yeah, that's why I'm running 10.13 right now. So I think that's going to be it for this video. I may have said I would do three parts, but I decided I think two is good because I don't really want to do, I don't want to do a fresh install of Windows. The Windows on the other SSD is working completely fine. And Linux, I can just install off camera. I have plenty of Linux installations on my channel, so that's fine. But yeah, so with that said, I'm only going to keep this at two parts. So thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed and I will see you in the next video.